So next up, um, there's always two parts to crypto and digital assets. One is where things are going based on like these different institutions and players who are in the game. And the second part really is regulation. That's really where the battle is won and lost. Um, and people will say, well, we don't need the regulation from the government. We do. We, not that we need it, but for other big players or big money players to get into this, we need this. And uh, I, if people say, no, we don't need them. Okay. So Biden administration developing crypto regs, and this is being brought about uh, and run through the SEC and the CFTC. So what's going on? This is all based on uh, Fox Business. Charlie Gasparino reported money that Biden administration is what's been described to him by people close to them as the early stage of developing a regulatory approach to the crypto markets. I'm not so impressed with you know, the administration itself as the fact that they're actually just trying to get things going and uh, just say, hey, we need to have this discussion, which is great. And they brought in the right people. Like, I know people always talk about Janet Yellen and how awful she is, but in all honesty, she knows a lot about what's going on. And Gensler, uh, who is now the SEC chair, I mean, he was teaching blockchain and cryptocurrency at MIT to MIT students. No slouches in the intelligence department. So this guy knows exactly what he's doing. Anyhow, they're making this a priority followed by taxes. And also, if so, in the United States, if you need to have your uh, taxes done, just so you know, uh, there's a pretty important thing. <laughs> just use what I use. It's very simple. It's called CryptoTrader.tax. Uh, within 30 minutes from when you actually start it up to actually put all everything in as an API integration, you can get your taxes done and off to your CPA. I'm already done this year, Ugh, which is great. If you want to try to uh, earn an uh, unlimited tax report for $300, Link in the description. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna pin it at the very top. Put in your first name and email, and they'll you'll enter to win for a freebie. Or if you want to just get 20% off right off the bat, just use uh, Dan. Links in the description for uh, the affiliates. And also, if you're also looking for a uh, crypto IRA, use iTrust. It's the ones that I use. And until May 15th, 2021, you can donate up to depending on where you're at, up to the maximum amount uh, from 2020 and 2021, and it's. Uh, Tax free. So take a look at that in the description. So back to what I was talking about. Uh, the SEC um, last week confirmed Gensler. I think uh, that we know that. But this would this is what it all comes down to. SEC Chair Gensler is waiting for some direction from the Treasury for the overall policy of crypto regulations, which I think will be great because then we can get like say, this is what's gonna happen, this is what's going on. And the people that are just holding on the sidelines going, eh, I don't know, is is the U.S. going to ban it? They're not going to ban it. Uh, I'm going to get into it. And then while acknowledging that some countries are starting to outlaw crypto, he said, I don't think it's going to happen here. It's, hint, uh, it's not going to happen here. You can you can have that nonsense happen in India, uh, which, you know, good luck, because in India, they've already gone through the uh, India Supreme Court, and they said that is, uh, you can't do that. And they overturned that ban. Now there's some different things going on in Turkey, which they're trying to ban uh, payments in crypto or third-party payment processors or payment uh, uh, businesses. And that's not going to go through either, I don't think. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyhow, it's Turkey. I mean, I have nothing against Turkey or people who live in Turkey, but come on. It's not a global powerhouse. And uh, that's it. So... Um, he says, uh, I don't think it's going to happen here. Too many American investors are in the space. In his opinion, crypto is here to stay. And based on the people he's been talking to, the government will not outlaw cryptocurrencies, but he believes that there will be more regulations. And here's the thing. People are always scared about regulations coming in. But look, back in the early or the late 80s, early 90s, early 90s, when the internet was coming about, the government pretty much just said, we're going to do, we're going to have a little bit of regulation, but it's pretty much hands off and we're going to see how this all flourished. And it worked out tremendously well. And I'm hoping that the same thing will happen here. Only time will tell. Furthermore, this is the most interesting part. Sources close to the SEC told them that the commission is debating whether to approve a Bitcoin ETF. That's a huge debate at the commission level between Republican commission, commissioners and the Democrats about the issue. Gensler will throw the Republicans a bone by approving this, ETFs, great, as a way to sort of curry favor with them over other broader policy goals he wants to do at the SEC. So great. If all the Republicans are like, hey, we want this, and Gensler's a Democrat, he's like, sure, I'll give it to you, but give me something else. That's how politics works. And that's what's great for us. The ETF comes in, all the people who are like, 
I don't really understand crypto, but I understand ETFs and they can get in there and go, here's, here's your ETF, here's a basket of cryptocurrencies and just invest into that. Sure enough. And um, this, I know people sometimes get scared and the rest is boring. I know some people get scared about the different aspects of digital assets and crypto and the regulations that are coming. But in all honesty, it's not so bad. And I think that we need a little bit of regulations. Look, I have no problems with a little bit of a, of a uh, speed limit. And it's okay to say, look, in the, in the school zone, go 25, because I don't want you to hit a bunch of kids and go you know, 90 miles per hour through there. On the flip side, I don't want to have a bunch of regulation where it's like, hey, you can only go five miles per hour uh, wherever you go. So, because that would be just awful. But I don't think that is the case here. We're interested in the comments section, but I think regulation could uh, do very well. Limited regulation just to get everybody just to say, all right, we're in. And that's it. So, that's the big positive story. Let's get to something on the other flip side.